To activate the sorting outputs for production and initiate part sorting, switch to production mode. Do this by clicking on the Start Production button. An overview appears in which you can start a new production order. Here you can define a production order and batch number. First, enter the production order. Then, enter a batch number. If the order already exists, the batch number is selected automatically. This is especially important if data storage is active and the curves are to be reassigned to a job afterwards. Go to production mode by clicking the Start Production button. You can see here how the screen changes from yellow for measuring mode to white for production mode. The symbol that looks like a small spider indicates that part separation, in other words, the digital outputs, is now active. In measuring mode, part separation is deactivated by default, so you must actively switch to production mode. Check functionality with the button Test Digital Inputs and Outputs. You can see in the example how the Sort EO's LED lights up. To stop production, select Interrupt Production, and then Interrupt Production or Terminate Production. <laughs>